of all, uh, to start off, we're in a soft furnishing, but today we're going to focus on a little section of making curtain five. Now, the third stage is now is that we're going to actually mite over the corner of the curtain. Now, underneath, oh, by the way, what I've done at the back of this paper is I've given you the, the answer all working out, so oh, later on you can that. observe it. But I wanted you to yeah. do it to, to, to grasp the concept. Mm -hmm. Yes? So the first step what we did was measure the window. The second step what we did is found the quantity that we need for the, our particular window. And the third step we're going to do now is actually make the curtains. All right, so now we've got the fabric. This paper here that I've given you, mm -hmm. this next step, this. Can you get this for me, please? Mm -hmm. Right. So this next step now is going to sh um, mitre the curtain. Right, step by step, what I'd like you to do, you've got the front bit facing you, which is a mitre corner facing you, that facing you. Right, can you see this line here? I'd like you to fold, which is the fabric, but fold the paper up to that line. This, this marking here represents your six inches of hemming. Yes. Now, do you see the second line? I'd like you to fold that now again for me. Fold it up. Again. Okay, now what I'd like you to do, I'd like you to release it, please. Right? So that is the bottom, that is the hem. This is this section that we've just done. Right? Now what I want you to do at the side, the two inch, we have to turn the side, which is the sides of our curtains, these sides, we've got to turn them in. So we've allowed two inch to turn it in. So, can you pull that for me, please? I'd like you to release that now for me, please. Now, can you see there's a diagonal line? Yes. Can you fold that up for me, please? We leave that alone. We leave that there. Yes? Can you, have everybody got it at this position? Yes. Right. Now, yeah? Now back to, so that was one, two, three steps. Now we're going to go back to the beginning, which the, first, the bottom of the paper, we first folded up the line. We're going to go back to it and we're going to fold it up. No, 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 no. You need to leave this closed. We're going to leave oh, it. Yeah. Yeah. Now just fold that up. Oh, okay. Yes? Everybody? Have they done it? Mm -hmm. Right. Now, we're going to fold it back up again. Mm -hmm. Great. Yes? Now, at the side, which is the side of the curtain, we're going to now fold that. The crease is only there for you. That is called mitering a, a, a corner plus the hem of a curtain, and someone can use the fabrics. On the fabric, I'd like you to repeat what you just done. Okay. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we use this up. as a... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, if we can only do it, we do it. Line. So on the fabric, you can see there's a six inches. Mm -hmm. So if you just fold them up on the fabric, just what we just did on, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't have this. <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody would like to try doing one eye in it? 
you know, <laughs> not on business. How do you yes? define your fold line here? Just well, the thing about it is, yes? Yeah. You see, the thing about it is, when you do it on the iron, it shows you exactly. And because you're using the fabric, it shows you, you see, when you did it, if you look at the fabric, you can see all the markings. Can you? Yes. Can you see the marking? Mm, yeah. Right. It's that marking that gives you the diagonal one. What happened is, can you just, can you just, um, sorry, I keep forgetting my name. Anna. 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 If you look, this bit here, if you lift it up, what happens, you see that line there? It matches up with that line yeah. there. And, and this line here matches up with that line there. And that's how you so get it exactly. Yeah. Folding line. Okay. Yeah. And, and get the corner. Right. Don't stretch the face. Yeah. yeah. That's how. I did it quite big. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But you never look. There it is. So there's the marking. So hold it. You hold that bit there and bring it up. Bring it up. Up, 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 up. And then you can see this line meeting that line. Can you see that one? Oh, okay. Yeah? Can you see that one then? Yeah. Right, now look at this. In that corner there, can you see the right angle? Yeah. You've got to get a good, perfect angle. You've got to leave that a good square. Yeah? Now crease that up and then continue. So use these papers as an example. Uh, so that's what goes up there. Yes. Sooner. Oh, wait, this one. Sort of sooner. Zona. Zona. <laughs> That's very useful. Yeah, I knew them. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. It's at that point. It's at that point. There's a sample I've done for you. You can see both sides are done. Right. Imagine this to be your curtain. No matter how big your curtain is. So your curtains could have so many joints in it. You could have all these joinings. You've got two joinings on one side and you've got two on that. You could have all these joinings on one side because it's a massive big window, right? But at the end of it, each side, you will still only end up with two mitered corners, yes? Mm -hmm. And then you will have a perfect corner for when you close your curtains, they line up with each other. 01737553906. I'm listening out for your call.